chronic pancreatitis with pancreatic duct stones and stricture. A 27-year-old man with alcohol-induced chronic pancreatitis is evaluated for severe pain via ERCP with pancreatoscopy. Initial pancreatogram shows a grossly dilated pancreatic duct, multiple filling defects, and a stricture approximately 1 to 2 centimeters long at the level of the pancreatic genu. Initial pancreatoscopy in the body of the gland reveals a dilated duct with dilated side branches and debris. Here you see a very generously dilated pancreatic duct lumen with a grossly dilated side branch containing an air bubble. Evaluation of the stricture itself reveals a smooth stenosing lesion. This is indeterminate for inflammation versus malignancy. Note the stricture here as the pancreatoscope is pulled back through it. Brush cytology is obtained from the pancreatic duct stricture using a biliary brush. And the pancreatic duct is then repeatedly swept with a 9-12 millimeter biliary occlusion balloon. Significant pancreatic stones and sludge are removed. Note the large stone to the right of the screen. duct is repeatedly swept in an effort to clear all sludge, stones, and debris. An 8.5 French by 7 centimeter plastic stent is then placed across the stricture to provide pancreatic drainage and to dilate the stricture over a period of several weeks. The patient has marked improvement in their pain following duct clearance and stenting. Brush cytology on this and subsequent exams is negative, consistent with a benign stricture. After repeated ERCPs with dilation and stenting, the stricture resolves and the patient has done well thereafter.